Hello crypto universe, this is Techman34 back with another guide. Today I want to walk you through how to claim your Bitcoin cash. There's a lot of great videos out there around, you know, what is it? Should you, you know, be interested in it? I'm not going to get into any of the ideological side of whether or not it's a good thing. At this point, I'm simply going to assume you want your free money and you want to make sure that you handle your BTC the right way and also that you handle your BCC the right way so that you can take advantage of this. So I'm going to walk you through this step by step. So what do you need? You need BTC, obviously. Every Bitcoin that you have entitles you to one Bitcoin cash. And it's going to be BCC or BCH, depending on the exchange that uh, supports it. You need a Bitcoin wallet. So this is a legacy original BTC wallet in your control with access to and control of your private keys. And I'm going to show you how to get those keys and manage those keys. For the Bitcoin wallets that are tied to hardware, I'm pretty sure that most of those guys are going to enable you to claim that. So like Trezor, I know for a fact, um, has come out with a guide or, or at least steps that they're taking to provide, I think, a firmware update as well as an interface so that you can get your BCC. I think Ledger Nano is doing the same thing, but for purposes of this video, I'm going to assume you don't have a hardware wallet. I'm going to walk you through how to get a Bitcoin wallet on your computer, so your desktop or your laptop, where you can ma manage this process. So again, you do not need a hardware wallet. Um, anyone can do this. These wallets are free to download, and I'm going to walk you through that. So for the example here today, I'm going to show you how to use the Electrum wallet. This is a longtime Bitcoin wallet. It's open source. The code has been reviewed, vetted by the community for many years, um, and it's one of the most trusted wallets. So I'm going to walk you through how to use the Electrum wallet to manage your BTC keys. And you're going to need the new Bitcoin Cash wallet. I'm going to show you where to download that, how to get it going. Uh, don't wait on this, guys. It takes, uh, I think it took like 40 hours the first time I did this uh, for the full blockchain to sync. So remember that uh, up until the fork on August 1st, the Bitcoin Cash wallet has to download all the transactions of the entire Bitcoin blockchain. Okay, so keep that in mind as you do this. Your computer is going to need, uh, I think, about 30 gigs. Uh, it's a very long process, so you can go ahead and get this started now. And then at the point after the split, then you can import your private keys and go from there. But I, for, at least for the initial syncing, I would go ahead and start that as soon as possible. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the basic process we're going to follow is we're going to download the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. You're going to back up the seed and password information so that you have it. I'm going to show you how to export the private keys to a spreadsheet and encrypt that spreadsheet. That's pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you how to download the Bitcoin wallet and how to import your private keys. I'm actually going to provide you the console commands and show you how to do this. It sounds more technical than it is, guys. I know everyone's not familiar with running console commands in a QT wallet, um, but this is something that I've done several times for many years, and it's a, it's a relatively straightforward process. I'm going to show you how to do that and provide you those commands step by step. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first step is to go to electrum.org, E-L-E-C-T-R-U-M.org. And click on the download link up at the top. For the operating system here, we're going to choose Windows. Click on the Windows installer link. And that does not take that long to download. Once that is done downloading, you can go ahead and click on that downloaded file. If asked to run it, click Yes. And then you're going to click Install and let her rip. It does not take that long to install. Uh, probably about 30 or 40 seconds. I'm actually not going to fast forward since it really doesn't take that long. Just wait on it a minute. And then once it's done installing then the close button is going to be ready to populate and click so just click on close and then you can run it 
so it doesn't automatically put a shortcut in so go into your search bar down there by your Windows symbol sorry for the screen being cut off here where I was doing this go ahead and click on the search and then type Electrum and then you'll see your Electrum wallet hit click on that and then it will open it up so how do you want to connect to a server click on auto connect and then hit next wallet name you can name this anything so I'm going to name this original wallet and click next click on standard wallet click next then you want to create new seed this is your backup and recovery seed phrase so you want to keep this written down someplace safe or if you want to store it in a notepad you know just make sure that it's an encrypted file for purposes of this video we're going to use a notepad and I'm just going to copy that in and then you're going to click next and it's actually going to prompt you to enter it back in they want to make sure you have your password for real so I'm just going to move it over here to the side and type this in this is a you know a 12 word I think uh, passphrase pretty standard stuff again if you if you want to save it as an encrypted file use a zip program like WinRAR or something like that where you can actually input all of this uh, secure data in, into this notepad file and we're going to add more to this but then you can encrypt it um, so enter in your phrase again and then hit next now you need a password so make sure it's a secure password it doesn't have to be the same as your Electrum wallet password just make sure that it's something you can remember um, I am going to paste it into this notepad file later and then click next and it's going to say Electrum is generating your addresses and you're ready to go this Bitcoin wallet is encrypted and ready to use so to check on your addresses here click on receive and you'll see it'll show you an address so this is your Bitcoin address so you can send your bitcoins to this address so this is 1k1 CNL I'm looking at the first three and last three of that address so you can copy that and paste it into your notepad as well this is what you're going to want to use to move your bitcoins from the exchange to your control uh, in your Bitcoin wallet all right once you've done that go to wallet private keys and then export it's going to prompt you to enter in your password again to be able to export your private keys so put in your password click OK wait a second and it's going to generate a file that has all your private keys in it and you see that path there users and then in your username and then Electrum private keys is the file name .csv so export that it'll give you a success message that your private keys have been exported and then basically you just want to go and track down that file so go into your users folder you find that on your C drive or whatever your main drive is go C drive users your username and then look for that file electrum private keys CSV right click open that up with notepad I know everybody doesn't have a spreadsheet so I'll show you how to use it just as a text file which is fine and you've got all your addresses here and all your private keys now we really only need the one that we're looking for here that has our Bitcoin it's the 1k1 CNL so we're gonna find that address which is the first column and then the second column is what you want to copy here this is your private key so this second string of text is your private key you want to paste that in save your notepad obviously so you save as and whatever you want to type we've called this elect and then like I mentioned you can put your password in here as well whatever your password is enter that in and then you want to save this notepad so that's it for that step so next we want to get the Bitcoin cash wallet so go to bitcoincash.org and then click on wallets up at the top we're going to download the Bitcoin ABC wallet. So click on Bitcoin ABC. That's going to take you to BitcoinABC.org. And then click on the link here in the middle, latest stable release. 
So 14.6, it's got your OS here, Linux, Mac, Win, Win is Windows. We want Windows 64. So we're looking for the 64-bit. And there's a zip file here, so click on that. Download that. And that does not take long either. So this is a zip file though, so we're going to first extract this zip file. So when you open, go into your downloads, and then extract all, and extract. And then just for ease of use, I'm actually going to move this to my desktop. And then go into the Bitcoin folder, go into the bin folder, B-I-N up at the top, and then double click on the Bitcoin-QT application, and then run that. And that's going to open up the Bitcoin ABC wallet. It says welcome and ask you where you want to install it. Now it says it's 122 gigs. As I noted in my uh, opening here that after it was done, it was actually 136 gigs. So make sure you have the room for this very large blockchain. And then click OK once you're ready to install it. If you're prompted to allow access, click on allow access, private networks and she's off and running so this process actually takes about 36 to 40 hours from what I saw so just let that run and then come back to it once it's downloaded and opened up, you're going to come into settings and you want to encrypt your wallet. Do this before you do anything else, guys. Encrypt your wallet. So enter in your new passphrase and then repeat it. It doesn't have to be the same as the Electrum wallet or you can use the same password if that was a secure password. And then hit OK. It's just going to warn you. If you lose your password, you're going to lose your Bitcoins. You want to continue. Click Yes. Then it says it's going to close to finish the process, and the wallet gives a little window message, and then it closes. And then you need to restart the wallet. Click on Run. And then you are actually ready to go. So if you come back in here, once it's opened back up, go into Settings, and just validate that your wallet is in fact encrypted. That's good. And then we need to go to the console to actually start uh, using some commands here to import your private keys. First, go to help, debug window, and then click on the console tab. This will open up your console. The first command we're going to use is to actually unlock your wallet so that we can import your private keys. So you, you're going to type wallet passphrase space and then literally type out your wallet password. Yes, this is a burner wallet. I'm not actually going to use this wallet. So don't worry about me typing the new test wallet 123 in here. And then after that password, put in the number of seconds that you want to unlock. So wallet passphrase, one space, your password, one space, and then the number of seconds to unlock your wallet so we can do things. The second command is import priv key. It stands for private key. And you want to type in your private key after that. So we're going to go back to our notepad where we saved our private key. And I'm just clarifying here, this is your wallet address. And then the second string was our private key. So the second string, this longer one, is the one that you want to copy. You can highlight that, right click, copy, or just control C. And then come in here, put a space after import proof key, and then drop in your, paste in your private key. Control V. And that's it, guys. So this now needs to rescan and basically pull in all the transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain for just that address. So it does not take as long as the original syncing, but it does take uh, a few minutes. So let that run, and then your dashboard balance will show in your Bitcoin cash, and it should show after the fork. So that was the step-by-step -step guide on how to claim your Bitcoin Cash. I hope you enjoyed this video. Note that there are some options for you as, you know, I was around last year when Ethereum split and a lot of people dumped 
the Ethereum Classic that they got, but you know we did see Ethereum Classic, you know, reach what the twenty-two dollars uh, this past year. So just keep that in mind that it can go back up. It is free money, so you know perhaps you dump half and and hold half. But uh, you know, it, it's just something to think about as you go in. So that's it. I hope you uh, share this video with other people before this important crypto event on August 1st. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more great crypto content. I've got a lot more videos coming, but I wanted to get this video out right away uh, because of this important 8-1 fork. So thanks again, and uh, I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the next video.